Now we have a new model called Open Thinker from Open Thoughts, and you can see it is able to beat some benchmarks of DeepSeek R1. In this video, we are going to see how we can use and download Open Thinker on your own system using Olama and various other options that is possible. So, Data Comp and Bespoke Labs community efforts is the open thoughts now the different organizations that are involved for this is people from bespoke labs stanford university of california university of washington jsc laion ucla unc chapel hill and toyota research institute they are working together to build the best data sets and the best models as a matter of fact when we look at the benchmarks, we can see that for the Math 500 benchmark, OpenThinker achieves an impressive 90.6 score, while the DeepSeek R1 Distill 32 billion scored 89.4. And again, on the GPQA Diamond, we can see that OpenThinker is 61.6, and it's 57.6 of the DS or DeepSeek R1. And you can see for the math and in the GPQ by Diamond, we get a very good score. And you can look at the other scores as well. Not bad, but still we are improving. Now, what's surprising and you might have already known this is that the data set you can see is only 114K. And you can see that DeepSeek used 800K data set. Now, with regards to size of the data set is one thing. <clears throat> but as a matter of fact, the data set itself of the DeepSeek R1 was not open. It was a closed data set. They have not shared the data set. But the data set that we see, 114K, this data set is still, still available for you to use and see the data set. So, how was this created? Actually, this is a fine-tuned version of Quen, Quen 2.5, 32 billion instruct. And that has been fine-tuned on the open thoughts 114k data set now how was this open thoughts 114k data set created it was created by distilling deep cigar one and asking questions to deep cigar one using the pipeline that is already available now this data set is therefore a synthetic data set which is created from deep cigar one now using the data set created from deep cigar one we have trained quen 2.5 instruct and then we are able to come up with a better versions how cool is that now all these benchmarks have been evaluated using this open source tool known as eval chemi this is again uh, created by the bespec labs bespoke labs and we will create a video definitely on using this benchmarks and how to get your LLMs going. But this is the revolution. This is all open source, the open model, open weights, uh, open data sets, open data generation code, open evaluation code, and open training code. Everything is open. As you can see that in DeepSeek R1, we have open weights, but the open data and open code, it, the, the codes were not open and the data set was not open. But open thinker 32 billion, we have everything open. As a matter of fact, we have two versions of open thinker 30 billion. If you go to open thoughts, we see that we have two versions. First is the 32 billion version, and then we have the 7 billion version as well. This is the data set that we're talking about. So this is the data set 114k rows of data. And you can see these are all synthetic data created from DeepSeek R1. And uh, if you look at the diagram, you can see that this is the data using Nomic Atlas. We can visualize this data. This again, I will create another video how to do this. But you can see that it ranges from different topics and you can see all these topics here. Now, in order to run this, we can we have different options actually. Uh, we can go to a Hugging Face and download the entire model because we have this files and versions here and i can download this entire thing the safe dances file and run it on your local system we can use this model uh, as you can run it as transformers you can use vllm to download it on your linux system you can use the tgi as well for running this and uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and go to Olama. You can see that we can download Olama. Just download the Olama for your Windows, for Linux or Mac OS, get it installed, set up. And for the Windows system, you can see that we have this icon here and therefore it's running. So go to models, then we go to newest. So in the newest models, we'll be able to see OpenThinker. We click on OpenThinker and you can see that we have two versions, 7 billion and 30 billion. Just three days ago, and then you can see that about 400k pulls. It's really, really an interesting model. So we have 7 billion and 30 billion. Now if you go to Olamar 1 OpenThinker, you copy this, go to any CMD on your system and just run this then you should be able to pull olama run open thinker you should be able to pull open thinker now i have already installed open thinker and therefore this is ready for inference now as a matter of fact you can see that olama list i have all these models installed and among that we have open thinker as well we have open hermos deepseek as well but let's focus and let's run open thinker open thinker so what is the capital of India and let's run this so it has something uh, just like the deep seek R1 we had thinking process it has uh, the beginning of thought process here so we are beginning of thought and we have the end of thought here that's the beginning of solution here and we have the end of solution here so this is how we can use this model now this benchmark has proved to be very good, but we will incorporate in our own examples. Now anything related to maths and anything related to GPQA, you should be able to use OpenThinker. So this is how we install this model on your system. This is how you go ahead and use OpenThinker. You can go ahead and download this today and use it and give some feedbacks on how do you think this open thinker did as compared to deep r1 this is a revolution more open source open models are coming up you can create your own models as you have the technology you have the right path as well because open thought you can see that this is fully open source it has given everything the source code the tools that it that we need to do this or come up with this model everything is available you can see the weights data sets that are generation code evaluation code and training code are all publicly available you can go ahead and try to create or your own models as a matter of fact i will create my own models on a very specific task that is bothering me a lot on my work and uh, i hope to see you next time in the next set of videos until then stay subscribed and i'll see you next time bye bye